the Eurasian blue tit. I cannot remember seeing them this summer and I do not have a uh, birdhouse for them. So I prepared this winter by making a Viking birdhouse. They need an entrance of 2.8 centimeters, which is 1.1 inches. I'm Martin and let's get to it. After my workshop build, I still have some spare panel scraps left. These are great for bird boxes. These boards are really smooth, so I will make some grooves for the little ones to climb on. Getting the right bird for your box is mostly about the right size of hole. For the blue tit I have to make the hole 2.8 cm or 1.1 inches. I don't really like using plans for the things I build. I like to use my intuition and creativity. But for a bird box you should try to keep as close to the standards as possible. A bird box should be emptied every or every second year. Because the birds will fill it up and eventually it will become so full that the babies will fall prey to crows. In order to fasten the box together, you can use small nails and a hammer, screws or a nail gun if you have.
If you make a bird box, remember to also plant a lovely flowery garden, as this will help draw in insects that are the bird's main dinner course. Flowers and birds are lovely to watch, so it's a win-win. Now we are entering the last phase, how to connect the roof to the box so it won't fall off during a storm. I just, uh, I think I invented this method. I haven't seen it before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. See any? Do you see anything wrong with that? I flipped them up. Right now I can take it out, slide it in, put down. I just have to adjust it properly. Flip the nails, connected to this box up, and then you can't get the lid off. Flip them down. Pick it up, take out the trash once a year, back on, voila! If you are to hang many bird boxes on the same tree, consider fastening one big board to the tree and then fastening your boxes to the piece of wood.
This will also make your birdhouses last longer because they will not get as wet on the back side of the box when, after it's rain and it will dry more quickly as it is away from the tree. I also cut this in an angle so uh, when the rain uh, pours down the tree or the water then it will hit this it will, and then it will go into this angle and away from the boxes and it will fall down here. Very smart! This is how you hang a box in the northern hemisphere. You hang it facing north so the boxes shouldn't get too warm during uh, summertime. And uh, you, for the 2.8 centimeter sized uh, small blue tits, you hang it around uh, 180 centimeters above ground and these are 3.2 centimeters so the bigger birds they go higher. I read a book recently it's called Wilding and in short it talks about how to reinsert a natural order in over or agricultured areas. I strongly recommend it. I will put a link in the description so you can find it there and it will give you more food for your brains. Last summer we planted a lot of field flowers and it drew in more insects and birds than ever before. And seeing this gave me joy and hope for the future and I hope you will consider doing the same. Food is more important than building the boxes. This year we will also start uh, changing grass patches for flowery fields to further increase our oasis. Thank you for watching and subscribe to keep uh, Norwegian wood alive and I hope to see you soon.